center of the universe and the Thrive15.com world headquarters. Let's go! Presenting the world's only business school without the BS with optometrist and entrepreneur Dr. Robert Zellner and the Forest Small Business Administration Entrepreneur of the Year in your ear, Clay Clark. It's the Thrive Time Show on Talk Radio 1170. Three, two, one. Boom, boom, boom. Welcome back into the room. It's the Thrive Time Show on your radio. My name is Clay Clark, and today do we have a show for you. We are honored to have you listening to this program. I can tell that you are one of the elite minds out there. You, you, my friend, you could be listening to a, to a political show. You could be, uh, uh, you, you could be, you know, the kind of guy who buys like a, like a, like a, like a, like a newspaper at a Quick Trip. And then you go and try to return the newspaper to get the money back after you've read the newspaper. I've actually seen somebody attempt to do this before. You're not those kind of people. No, no, you are investing your time. And by the way, you can make a ton of money. You can always make more money, but you can't make more time. And you've chosen to invest your time into your self-improvement. And so do we, we, are, we are excited about the show we have for you today. My name is Clay Clark. I'm the former SBA Entrepreneur of the Year. Sit here on a mission to help you get yourself in the right financial situation, in the right financial position. And so today we are talking about business coaching. Specifically, what does a business coach do? Uh, why do you need a business coach? Where did the concept of business coaching come from? Uh, so many aspects of business coaching, but I can just, I'll just kind of tee it up with this. If you've ever started a business and you've ever felt yourself stuck, or if you currently own a business and you feel stuck and you have no idea how to take that business to the next level, then maybe a business coach is right for you. Um, and, and I guess the best example I could give you would be in uh, sports. If you've ever played a sport, uh, many of us have played uh, hockey, uh, we've played baseball, we've played football. And I know that my, well, my, my son played hockey there for about a, a year and a half there. And when he played hockey, the coaches wanted to push every player to be the very best they could be. But by default, I find it highly uh, uh, unlikely that uh, any of the parents, myself included, would take our kids to a given piece of ice, and uh, uh, let's assume we did have the ice. I don't know how many parents would take their kids to the ice and then methodically teach uh, skating and to, st and, and to teach the kids to push themselves to be the best stick handlers possible. I, I don't know that, that many of us would, would push our kids to perform at their very best athletic best without a coach whose entire focus and mission is to do that. Another example would be personal training. Uh, many of us want to get in shape. Unfortunately, these statistics show that, that most of us are not in the, in the physical shape we want to be in. And the research has shown that when someone hires a coach or has a class or has a, a partner who's in shape, who can push you, you will get far beyond where you would be by default if you didn't have somebody pushing you. And it's no different in business. But for some reason in business, people feel like they don't need to have a coach, and therefore they accept mediocrity, and they get stuck in that rut. So benefit number one of having a business coach is you'll have the support of a coach to give you honest feedback and an integrated library of small business solutions to help you think strategically about long-term goals. So uh, here, here's a notable quotable for you, coming in hot from uh, Bill Gates in his TED Talks that he delivered on May of 2013. He says this. He says, he's speaking to a group of educators, and he says, everyone needs a coach. With no feedback, no coaching, there's just no way to improve. Now, I'm sure that you, uh, the listener, have never done this, but if, if, you, if you don't believe that, um, if you've ever found yourself not believing that you have the, the ability to improve, if you begin to believe that you, know, you are stuck because you've always been stuck and that's why you're stuck and now it's something else, you're going to start to say things like, well, it's the economy, really. You know, I would grow better if we had a new president. And then uh, President Obama gets elected, and now you're going, well, you know, it's going to take him a long time to make the changes needed to fix my industry. 
And then President Trump gets elected and you're thinking, well, I could probably, you know, this time try a different side of the political aisle and I hope he can help my business. But at the end of the day, nobody's going to come and help you but you. I mean, Dr. Z and I, we care a lot about you and your business. We are obsessed with helping your business succeed, but nobody cares about your business more than you. You've got to understand that. You've got to become comfortable with that, and you've got to understand that if you are not pushing yourself to be the very best you can be, and you're not just overwhelmed with um, solutions that will definitely work. If you find that your uh, man cave is not a library of, of case studies, if you find that your walls are not filled with the, the strategies and, and proven business systems, if you find that you don't have the templates and the tools and the resources to grow your business, and you find yourself just working harder all the time, then you, my friend, need a business coach. Now, reason number two of why you would need a business coach and how a business coach would help you, specifically how would a business coach help you, is a business coach will help you increase your revenue with turnkey and proven systems. So uh, one of the business coaching programs that's out there is called, uh, it's, it's a great program, is called Traction, and the program was developed by Gino Wickman. Again, that, pra that, that program is called Traction. And uh, this is a notable quotable that he says you know, from his book called Traction. He says, most people are sitting on their own diamond mines. The surest way to lose your diamond mind is to get bored, to become overambitious. Is, are, are, you, are you guilty of this? Have you ever, have you ever become bored uh, with, with your business? Have you ever become overambitious or thinking that the grass is greener on the other side? Have you ever found yourself thinking, man, if I switch industries, I'm going to be better off than I was before? Have you ever thought that but when you switched industries, the problem was is that you are everywhere that you are, right? Everywhere you go, you, 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 are, you are there. And then so you bring the problem with you from job one to job two. I'm sure it's not you. I'm sure it's other people listening to other shows. The people listening to the Rush Limbaugh show are the people who are, are, are thinking this way. But the surest way to lose your diamond mind is to get bored, to become overambitious, or to start thinking that the grass is greener on the other side. Find your core focus, stick to it, and devote your time and resources to excelling at it. So as an example right now, my son, we bought him this 48-inch riding Husqvarna mower uh, there for for Christmas. And he's sitting right next to me right now in the, in the man cave as we broadcast this episode of the Thrive Time Show. And the thing was, is when he got that mower, um, you know, he's looked at other mowers too. He knows about the riding mower. There's like, what, a 60-something inch riding lawn mower. I'm not even sure. There's a lot of riding mowers. There's circular zero-turn mowers. There's mowers that glow in the dark. There's mowers that have been created by alien planets. There's mowers that'll drive themselves. There's mowers that you can, there's all different kinds of mowers. But he has a 48-inch riding Husqvarna. And I want him to master that mower and to become the master of the mower before we move on to anything else. He's got to get that thing to pay for itself. He's got to be make our. He, I want our yard to look like the inside of a Caesar's palace. Uh, uh, you know, the inside area. What's the word? I'm struggling to find that word. It's it's the word in the middle where people gather. The commons maybe is what I'm looking for. You know, where they have the pool and they have the landscaping. They have all that decor. I want my I want my bushes, I want my trees to be curly cue. I want I want to have the grass a perfect level. I want the pond to just never ever be anything but perfect. I want a fountain. I want, or I want a fountain. I want it all, and I want it all behind our wall. So we're in the process of erecting a wall, and the wall is going to be about nine feet tall, and then the other side of the wall, we're going to have faux stone. And he's a nine-year-old, but I want him to make this the total dojo of mojo. And then when he's 16 years old and that crazy guy has a driver's license, I am going to get behind him and help him market his landscaping business. But here's how it's going to work. And he, I don't know if he knows this move, but I'm only going to match him $1 for $1. Okay, so every time he puts a dollar in for marketing, I'll match that dollar. And that's what I did with my brother-in-law with his business, The Elephant in the Room Men's Grooming Lounge. And I've done it with so many other business opportunities. But I'm telling you what, there is no way that I would give him any money for marketing. And there's no way that I would have invested any money in my brother-in-law's business unless I knew that they knew the systems, unless I knew that they were committed, and unless I knew that they had, a, that they knew, had the knowledge of how to create a turnkey way to increase their revenue. So a coach is going to help you increase your revenue 
with these turnkey proven processes and systems. And so I'll give you an example. Uh, elephant in the room, our men's grooming lounge. Uh, we now have three locations to serve you, and the experience is awesome. So many men come in there and say, wow, that is awesome. I mean, the, the whole, like, barn wood and the Edison bulbs and the smell. What does that smell? It smells so good. The pinion wood outside, the atmosphere, the, 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 I don't even know what it is. I mean, it's just awesome. Well, we had to get people inside of the business. And if I didn't know how to get them to the top of Google, if I didn't know how to launch no-brainer online ads, if I didn't know how to design print pieces, if I didn't know how to do strategic mailers, if I didn't know how to run ads, if I didn't know how to make YouTube commercials, if I didn't have a team of graphic designers, if I did not have a photographer, photographers, if I didn't have videographers, if I didn't have an entire team of business ninjas that were available uh, to execute the business systems, then there's absolutely no way that business would have succeeded, even though the 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 atmosphere, the any experience, the, the the product was good. But there's no way it would have succeeded without that team of business ninjas. So if you've ever found yourself where you're going, okay, I need a team of business ninjas. I, I need I need a war, war, war. I need a graphic designer. War. I need a uh, that's my ninja sound by the way. If I I need a I need a a, a photographer. <laughs> That's a punch. I need a, I need like a, a, a search engine guy. If I need a guy who just knows the whole strategy and kind of talks like those Asian movies back in the day, the old Bruce Lee movies where they couldn't match, they didn't have subtitles yet, they hadn't figured that out. And so they would do is they would have like, a, it was like the subtitles were there, but for some reason they would have an American uh, do the voice, an English speaking person do the voice, but the face of a, an Asian ninja was on the screen. And so he would say stuff like, come back here and I will fight you. If you don't have an entire team of business ninjas who can help you grow your business for less money than you would spend on a barista, well then ding, 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 you, my friend, are most people. And that is why we built our business coaching platform here at Thrive15.com. However, in fairness to our competitors, who I believe are second best, third best, fourth best, and fifth best, there are other programs out there. There is the Traction Program by Gino Wickman, which is a very fine program. It's been written about, well-documented, a very successful company, very uh, much more expensive than our program. But then there's also the E-Myth Program, E-Myth by Michael Gerber. Michael Gerber, he wrote the E-Myth, you know, the uh, uh, book uh, E-Myth Revisited. You know, you should be working on your business, not in your business. He wrote that stuff, okay? The next program that exists that I, I believe to be a very good program is the Maui Mastermind Program. The only problem is you have to spend $30,000 to go to, out to a seminar, and if you don't do that, you got to spend, you got to sign a contract. Um, our Thrive15.com business coaching program has zero contracts. We include the entire team of business ninjas for less money than you would spend on hiring a full-time barista. And when we come back, we're going to get into the other benefits, the other the other benefits of how a business coach can help you. How can a business coach help you grow your business? If your business feels if you feel stuck with your business, if you have a business and you feel stuck, you definitely do not want to change the station because we're going to get more into how a business coach can help you create sustainable profits. How to become profitable in a sustainable way. Stay tuned. Thrive Time Show. My name is Cody Albright, and this is my wife, Rachel Albright, and we are from Inola, Oklahoma. Uh, we don't actually own a business yet. We're starting uh, a business with my father-in-law, her dad, uh, Sierra Pools and Spas. We actually heard about it from my dad, who listens to the Thrive Time Show on 1170, and he's an entrepreneur, so he recommended this conference to us. I have learned mainly just the skills to get started with the business. I kind of came in like not knowing even where to start, where to begin, just feeling a little bit overwhelmed with the whole process. And I feel like Clay really gave us the information to not only get started, but once we do get started, to get moving with the business and actually get things rolling. Being in the beginning process, I, uh, I don't know much. I didn't come in into this uh, conference, I didn't know much about uh, sales, business, 
um, marketing and uh, nothing I learned in high school. And so I, I feel like I learned actually a tremendous amount of things, practical things I could put to use. Uh, I would describe it very welcoming, uh, atmospheric, warm, is that a word? I guess. So. Yeah, it's very um, relaxed. Clay is very um, great speaker. He made it really fun, lots of energy. So yeah, it was a great experience. Very homey. It's awesome. It's a little bit eclectic, but um, you definitely get a sense of what they believe in and um, their energy here and their purpose here. You can definitely see it all over the walls and everywhere. I would describe him very well, a very well communicator, um, very funny, very energetic, uh, very passionate, very knowledgeable, uh, and just fun to listen to. He's very interactive. Um, Clay always was there to answer any questions that we have. Um, at any point, we could answer any or ask any questions, and he was very willing to answer them. And even in between. Um, he's very approachable, I talk to him about anything. I would say they're missing just the jump start to get their business to a place where it's um, um, serving them and where it's really making the profit that they want to see. It's, it's accomplishing the goals that they have in their mind. I would say they're missing the practical skills to make that happen. Clay does not try to upsell you on anything. Um, he's definitely here to just help you out. He wants to give you all the skills that um, you need to get your business where you want it to be. So there's no pressure. Mm. It's totally relaxed. Yes, I would say I describe it no pressure, and I'm a people pleaser, so um, I would fall into those sort of things and uh, things. But yeah, I would say it's very relaxed, very non-pushy. It's definitely worth your time. It's definitely worth the money. Um, because all the things that he's going to teach you, um, you learn them in a very quick amount of time, but they're all very applicable if you actually put in the time to use them. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back inside the Dojo of Mojo. Today I'm broadcasting live from the Man Cave, where we're always learning. We're always earning and we're always burning. And joined with me on today's show, he's not Mike today, but he's with us in his thoughts, is my son, Mr. Aubrey Napoleon Hill Clark. He is the incredible age of nine, and uh, he is a he's obsessed with landscaping. This guy has a 48-inch Husqvarna riding lawnmower. He's taken his game to the next level, and I'm teaching him the art of of production so he's watching us today he's heavily influencing the show at any point if you feel like i i sound stressed i feel like i'm uh, uh it's 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 tough he's a he's, he's he's an intense manager let's just say that he's intense it's like it's like having darth vader next to you is how it feels he's an intense guy no i'm just kidding but we're today on the thrive time show he is he is with me though i'm not kidding about that but he is not an intense overlord like Darth Vader. But today we are talking about the value of a business coach and how does a business coach help you? Well, move number three is a business coach can increase your profits in a sustainable way. So I'm going to give you a notable quotable that I love, and this comes from the guys who built the SCALE program. It's a business coaching program developed by the authors of the Maui Mastermind book, a sensational book, uh, great authors, uh, they're, this, this is their notable quotable. They say, this isn't something that hard work alone is going to solve. Blindly working hard is part of the problem. The more your growth is based on your personal production, the more dependent your business becomes on you for that production. You've got to make sure that even in the midst of meeting the demands of your business, you take some energy and invest it in the systems, the team, and internal controls that will allow you to scale your business beyond just you. I think someone missed. I think someone needs to have us play that back. Okay, I'm playing it back. Here we go. The more growth, the more your growth is based on your personal production, the more dependent your business becomes on you for that production. My friend, how many of you have done that? You're working so hard. You could not work any harder. I'm talking about, this is the deal. Bernie, Bernie Sanders has suggested that we should not be working more than 40 hours a week, right? I mean, I, I, I'm going to go off on a little bit of a tangent, but I promise I have a point. If you look up Exodus, you know, Exodus, that, that's the, the Bible. Um, but if you look up Exodus or maybe you look up like, uh, I don't know, say you want to look up Genesis, just say you consult your Bible. 
allegedly, how many days did it take the infinite God, uh, the God of the of the infinite intelligence, the God, uh, the, the 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 Trinity, the trifecta, the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost? How long did it take the God of the universe to make the planet? Allegedly, I'll wait. Six days, right? And he rested on the seventh. Okay, so let, let's 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 use that as example number one. Example number two. Let's say that you're not into religion; you're just into business. Well, Elon Musk. Google does Google search this. Elon Musk. Elon Musk uh, was once asked the keys to success. How has how has he built PayPal? How did he build Tesla? How did he build SpaceX? How did he build Solar City? How is he doing this? He says. You must work 80 to 100 hours a week. He's talking about you to build these systems. You got to work 80 to 100 hours a week. Okay, so you know, let's let's look at the three examples. God thinks that you and I should work six days a week to build a great creation and rest on the seventh. Elon Musk thinks we should work, you know, 80 hours a week. I'm telling you that Bernie Sanders wants you to work 40 hours a week or less like 38 is what he's looking for you know then paid time off like if, if, if you have a kid you know you get to take like the year off and then like if i'm good buddies with you and you had a kid and i feel like i'm emotionally you know invested in the kid but we're not married but somehow i've helped create the kid then i get to you know i'm a, I'm like a, a biological pseudo parent but i'm not actually going to be a parent i'm just going to help create the parent but be an absent parent if i'm one of those people i get to take the year off too or part of the year off and you know that kind of thing well so you have like extremes i mean bernie sanders is basically um, you know, obviously I'm kind of kidding around here, but Bernie Sanders is into almost socialism. Elon Musk thinks you should work every single second of the day. And then over here you have Henry Ford, uh, you know, who had the same mindset working, you know, work almost every day if possible. OK. And then you have the Bible where the Bible's saying, hey, you know, just just work six days a week to make that great creation rest on the seventh. I'm telling you, my goal is for you to be able to work 10 hours a week or less. 10 hours? Yeah, that's my goal is 10 hours a week or less. Well, how am I going to do it? Well, what you have to do is you have to take some time out of your schedule to work on your business and then other time to work in your business. And I can't tell you how many entrepreneurs are just annoyed when I suggest the concept of them taking time out of their schedule to work on the business and not just in the business. People will come to me all the time and say, Oh, pale male wise wizard, how do you do it? How have you been able to build these successful companies? What is your what are your tips? What are your moves? And then when you show them the moves, they have like a pushback where they go, "Yeah, I know that's the moves, but I don't want to do the moves." And I say, "Why don't you want to do the moves? These are the moves. These are the moves that we do. These are the moves." And they go, "Well, because, you know, I don't want to change my website cuz my wife made it." And you're like, okay, so that's really the issue. Or they'll go, I don't want to change the website because my husband made it. I don't want to change that business card because that's the way we've always done it. As an example, here's just an example. Have you ever been to uh, Target? Can you picture the last time you went to Target? Think about this. You go to Target, and the last time you were at Target, um, they probably had something on sale, right? They had, it's right, everything's on sale, by the way. But I, I just bought TVs this weekend from Han Appliance, okay? So I go into Han, and there's two TVs. They're 49-inch LG TVs, I think, Aubrey. They're LG TVs. But two 49-inch LG TVs for the office. I go in there to buy those TVs, and when I buy those TVs, it says they're on sale. Of course they're on sale. There's always something on sale. There's never a time where something's not on sale. Have you ever been, am, I, am I the only one who goes into Hobby Lobby and notices that everything is always on sale? And that sale that's going to end on Saturday because they're not open on Sundays, we have to buy the thing. We got to buy the clock that says, Blessed is our God. We got to buy the clock that says, Mary had a little. And these, these are the very Christian kind of uh, Hobby Lobby kind of uh, you know, phrases like, uh, Blessed are the persecuted or, or uh, success is a choice. I don't even know if you'd find one like that at Hobby Lobby. You'd probably find one at Hobby Lobby that says, uh, uh, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, something like that. But you can't get, you, you're not, you're not, they realize you're not going to buy that. You're not going to buy those uh, in, encouraging words, those scripture verses that are somehow painted on a beat up rustic clock that we know that was manufactured overseas, but we somehow are enthralled. We have to buy that beat up clock that looks aged, but it's really not. We want to buy that clock, but we can't by that clock, we just can't motivate ourselves to do it unless we feel like there is a 
special. Because for some reason, once there's a special, we then start to say things to our wives and our husbands. We say, oh, they say, how much was the new truck? Oh, baby, I saved a ton of money. I bought this new truck and I saved so much. It was on sale. How much was the clock? Oh, I saved so much money on that clock. I mean, the clock, I saved like $80. Well, I don't know how you do math, but in my mind, when you spend money, you actually have had decreased the money you have, not increased it. But they've convinced us through marketing that saving is uh, a move and a reason why you should buy because those are the special that will expire. These are the kind of moves that a business coach will help you implement. Branding, sales, marketing. Now, we come back, we're going to teach... We're going to teach you more about business coaching and how a business coach can help you build a business that can really work without you physically being present. Stay tuned. I used to live in pants at, not giving a Bay boy, now I'm all grown up. I used to cruise the used car lot, put chrome on the truck. Bay boy, now I'm all grown up. Yeah, we used to ball like that. I'm Augustine Icapelli, and I'm from Wichita, Kansas, and uh, CEO of Augustino Brewing. Well, I heard about them from, uh, uh, I'd already been a Thriver on uh, Thrive 15, and uh, through that platform, I found out that uh, there were in-person wor workshops and one-on-one uh, -on -one coaching available, so I decided to uh, check it out, and it's been fantastic. Oh, I've learned uh, a lot about uh, how we're going to better target our online presence for our business to attract and bring more people into uh, the doors of our brick and mortar uh, brewery and restaurant. One shot, everything rides on tonight. Even if I got three strikes, I'ma go for it. This moment, we own it. Eh? I'm not to be played with because it could get dangerous. It could get dangerous today inside the audio dojo of Mojo, the Thrive15.com world headquarters is typically where we broadcast from. But today I'm broadcasting from the man cave, a place where earning, learning, and burning never stop. Can't stop, won't stop. We always, I mean, recently, recently, just a, a few minutes ago, the fire has gone out, and so I must go out there in between uh, breaks and rekindle the flame. You know, you, you remember how uh, Oral Roberts University uh, was known for? They still have the, the flame that never stops burning. That's kind of how I view it. I don't know what it is. I don't know. I'm not sure what I, I'm afraid of. I just feel like if, if, if we're not burning something, bad things are going to happen. I just really, really enjoy man burning. Now, today we're talking all about business coaching. Uh, specifically, why do you need a business coach? Uh, do, you, do you need a business coach? Well, we're talking specifically about how, a, how, how does a business coach work, okay? So step number five, a business coach helps you build a business that really works without you, but for you. Um, I don't know that people understand what that means, um, so I'm going to assume that uh, you've never seen it before. Because I, before I had seen Dr. Zellner build a business that worked for him, um, I, I had never seen it up close. And so let me just talk about Dr. Z for a moment. He deeply cares about all of the patients, uh, and he deeply cares about the people who work with Dr. Robert Zellner and Associates. In fact, if you go to his holiday parties, you will see an army of people that have worked with him for a long, long time. I mean, you're going to see hundreds of people there, many of which have worked with him for over 10 years. So he obviously cares about employees. People, people don't stick around if they don't think the boss cares, right? But also, he deeply cares about his own time freedom and his financial and his family's uh, time freedom more than anything else. So he cares about his family's financial freedom and his family's time freedom more than anything else. So the business has been clearly built to help the business work without him. So when he, his optometry clinic, when you go in there, you'll probably never uh, be greeted by him. You'll probably never be seated by him. He'll probably never answer your phone call. I, I doubt that he's going to go, can you see better now? Can you see better now? Could you know that little thing they they did they do where they put the little uh, they they blow a puff of air in your eye. My wife used to do that when my wife worked um, at his at his facility when she was 19 years old. Um, and he he won't pretest the eye. He's not going to be going over the chart going. Well, it looks like you have a little bit of a this and a that. Uh, can you see better now? Can you can you see better now? He's not going to sit down with you and help you choose the right glasses for your face type. But what he does is he um, has built a system 
that allows him the, the, the time freedom to do this. So this is how you know if this is not you. If, if this is still, if this is not you, if you're not to that level where you've built a business that works um, for you, this is how you know. Well, it's, it's where you get stuck where you personally are making most of the decisions. You generate most of the business. You are meeting with most of the key clients. You are in charge of everything. Even if you somehow, you know, get disappeared for a vacation for like a weekend, you are the one who has to do every conference call, and there's constantly things breaking and falling apart when you're not there. So the question is, how do you build a system like that? How do you how do you do it? Well, what you want to do is you want to work with a business coach that will help you to build a linear business process, a, a, a systematic linear workflow, like a blueprint, right? Like a blueprint for a house. That's the best example. My wife and I, years ago, we built a house at uh, 111th and Memorial in a neighborhood called Silverwood. If you live there during that time in American history, I'm uh, apologizing for all of the times that I violated the HOA rules repeatedly. Um, I always tried to apologize before I broke the rule and then after I broke the rules a way to, uh, um, you know, let everybody know that I really cared. And I and we moved out of a neighborhood now, so we're no longer having that problem. But we built our house and you meet with the builder and you tell him what kind of wood floor you want. You know, you tell him what kind of cabinets you want. You tell him what kind of trim you want. You tell him all these things you want. And then he makes, he comes back and builds a plan. And they usually have a, a nifty name to, for it. Like, we call this the Bonaparte. And you're like, okay, cool, okay, cool. I mean, they have kind of epic names for paint. Uh, my son's on the, show, on the show today listening in here. He's, his his nine-year-old mind is absorbing it all. But, you know, they'll name the paint after, like, uh, a, a bizarre animal. They'll call the, 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 the paint, like, this is doe skin. This is the doe skin paint. Rather than calling it brown, they're going, this is doe skin. And they come back and you say, so uh, what? So let's look at the plans. They go, well, let me pull out the Bonaparte. And they have a big old huge blueprint they, they, they roll, roll out for you. They roll it out. Okay, this right here is the Bonaparte. This will allow you to uh, live life at the fullest. You'll have a beautiful dining area. You can walk in and enjoy time with family around the dining table. And I'm going, I've never had a dinner in a dining dining room other than on the holidays. You'll be in there all the time. Then you have what we would call, well, right here when you first walk in, this is the office. And uh, this is a great place for your family. You, for you, you can work while still being at home. And the entire time I'm thinking, well, I, I, I actually have five kids. Do you know how that works? I mean, typically one of them is pooping or is upset. One is touching the other person. One is like, stop touching me. Stop me. When you have kids under the age of 12, let alone five kids, someone's always touching somebody. Someone's always leaving like a metallic toy in your quote unquote office. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll see how much work gets done in my office and then you go up there and they go this now up here this is the theater room you know the prices of movies today have gone up so much i mean did you see a good movie now at warren theater it's like 14 dollars. i mean when you but when we put in this thirty-five thousand dollar room you could watch all of your dvds and all your netflix and all of you and, and so they kind of sell you on that plan right well then you say no 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 home skillet. That's not the plan that I want. Here's the plan I want. So then you go back and forth, you bat it around, pretty soon you decide on a plan, you agree on a plan. And by the way, the guy that we used to build our house the first time who was awesome. Awesome. This guy's great. You should, if you're trying to build a house in Tulsa, use this guy. Rob Brewer with Spartan Construction. If he's still in business, if he's still around, use Rob Brewer. That guy was awesome. But anyway, so then the the, the builder comes back with the plan and he shows it to my wife and I. And we do what? We disagree on things. I'm like, well, it's just, well, basically, why don't we just put in carpet? We could save some money. We put in carpet. We make the, the hallways more narrow. If we do not do this, the, the smooth walls and we get rid of the archways, all this could be a savings. And she's going, I want um, marble, not travertine. What? I want wood. I want it hand scraped. I'm like, why does it have to be hand scraped? What do you hate the people who are doing this for a living? Why do they have to get down on their knees and hand scrape it? Why can't they scrape it with a machine? Or why can't we just use linoleum? Long story short, we agree on a house and we build the house. But the builder had to make the blueprint. And a lot of times you don't even know what you want until you're presented with options. And so a business coach will help you see your life as it could be not as it is, and will help you work towards that distant future. 
So, so then the next question is, well, how do I begin business coaching? If I want to do business coaching, how do I begin it? And really, I think the question before that is, how did you start business coaching, Clay Clark? How did you do it? What did you do? What qualifies you and your team of scallywags to business coach? How, how come you're qualified to business business coach? I've seen you at Sprouts with your super pale skin, never going outside, always wearing your jerseys, driving around your Hummer and your Mercedes. What, what qualifies you to teach me how to become a successful business owner? When we come back, I'm going to teach you my journey. We're going to go back into the past, and I'm going to teach you how I became America's number one and most humble business coach ever. My name is Brian Zimmerman. I'm from Castle Rock, Colorado. I own an e-learning platform that educates and teaches people how to start side incomes. There's a few things that I've learned here, one being just the ease in having a system of actually starting a business and then executing it. And then also being able to build systems around your entire process when it comes to building a successful business. I first heard about the Thrive Business Coaching platform through an ad or something I, I seen online and I was a veteran and so I was um, able to join their veteran program and start the Thrive program that way and I've since become a coaching client and, and have worked with Thrive now for almost two years. I describe the overall workshop experience is phenomenal. It's it's great. I love the environment. I love the way that Clay presents and teaches. It's a way that not only allows me to comprehend what's going on, but he explains it in a way to where it just makes sense and it's an easy to follow process. For anyone that's ever been to the Thrive 15 headquarters, I would describe it as showing up to Disneyland <laughs> only for business experience. It's, it's, it's an amazing place. The environment's great. Uh, the team is amazing, and um, even better, it's just it's a really cool environment with the quotes and the different decor all over the place. This place is awesome. Yeah, I would describe Clay's presentation and teaching style as the, he's almost like, he's a comedian, um, but he explains it in a way to where he adds humor and it's fun, it's exciting, it keeps you engaged, you don't feel like you're falling asleep or getting bored. There's a lot of conferences and other things that I've been to where it's like, I'm itching to stand up. Uh, but it's almost uh, here, I'm on the edge of my seat, and I'm gauged and I'm ready to learn at all times. And so it's been fun. The interaction level has been great. There's segments where there's breakouts to where Clay's ready, he's available to answer any questions. The communication between the other classmates has been great. I've learned different things from other members that have been here as well. So the engagement has been phenomenal. I, I love it, it's been great. For anyone that's never attended a Thrive 15 workshop, you're missing out on community. You're missing out on support. I think it's important to be able to step away from your business and not only step away from your business, but to engage with other business owners so you can learn their perspectives, their ideas, and what it is that they're learning and really get an altitude perspective of what it is that you're doing so you can see other ways to actually fix and correct what it is that you're doing so you can grow and build your business. The Thrive Conference is different from a lot of other seminars and trainings because there is no upsells. There is you're not expecting for that, oh, wait a minute, oh, here it comes, here's that pitch, and the next thing you know, people are running, standing up and running in the back of the room or worried about another sales pitch. There's none of that here. It's straight content, how you can build, how you can grow your business, and then you implement what it is that you can with your business, and then you execute it. I would recommend that other people attend the Thrive 15 workshop because if you're looking for an easy process to follow, a step-by-step -step system, and have support and guidance, this is where it's at. I have attended a lot of different trainings, a lot of different seminars, and I don't think there's been anything as easy to follow, at least for me, as this, not only the teaching style, but then the direction and the imp implementation and the plans that they've laid out here at Thrive 15. Everybody get up. Welcome back to the Thrive Time Show. It's the Thrive Time Show on your radio. And I'm telling you what, today you are in for a treat. You are an intelligent Oklahoma. You're the kind of person, I'll, I'll tell you what kind of person you are. You're the kind of person, you're the kind of sick freak who it doesn't just accept 
mediocrity. You you don't just um, you know say, well, my life, you know, my income isn't very good because of the president, and therefore I'm going to focus all my time on the president because that's what's keeping my income down. No, no, you you are a solution minded person. You are a, a solution-minded and future-focused person, and you have what it takes to become successful because that's how you view the world. You realize if your marriage isn't that good right now, you can learn how to make it better. You realize if, if your business isn't that good right now, you can learn how to make it better. You've learned to be able to accept the things you cannot control. So in those situations like my father, again, my name is Clay Clark. I'm the former SBA Entrepreneur of the Year. Dad, if you're listening from upstairs, and I know you are, my dad passed away this year uh, from ALS, uh, Lou Gehrig's disease, and I know that he's up there in heaven right now listening with Ted Williams, his uh, baseball uh, uh, hero, and uh, Wilt uh, Chamberlain, and you know all, all the cast of characters. He's up there. He's hanging out there. I don't know if he's hanging out with Prince or Michael Jackson. He'd probably be a little bit uh, worried about those guys, but he definitely was spending time with Ted Williams up there, and he's listening. Um, and, and Dad, you know, if, if, you're li- if, you, if you're listening, I mean, I, I, I miss you. I do. I miss you quite a bit. And for anybody listening right now, if you've ever lost a loved one, um, you miss that person too, right? But you, as a as a person who's solution uh, minded and future focused, you've realized I gotta I gotta focus on doing my best and forgetting the rest. You know, someone should probably write that down. I gotta I gotta do my best and forget the rest. I gotta focus on what I can control and block out what I can't. And so before we left, we were talking about business coaching, the value of a business coach. And now we're talking about what makes me specifically, uh, Clay Clark, and us, Dr. Zellner and I, uh, qualified to have built a business coaching program. That's a, that's a great, uh, that's a great uh, question there. You're putting, me, you're putting me on the spot, and so I'm going to get into it. Um, one is I built a company called DJConnection.com. If you look at djconnection.com, um, what it was essentially was a wedding entertainment service. And before I sold it, we were teaching thousands of people how uh, to, uh, you know, we were teaching um, thousands of people how to, go, have a, how to have a good time at a wedding. You know, people go to a wedding and a lot of times they don't have any fun. And so DJ Connection was successful because our entertainers would get out there and inspire a crowd of people to have a fun time at a wedding. But the magic was is that almost every single one of the disc jockeys that we had at the peak before I sold the company had never DJed before. So we had to teach a repeatable system to teach adults how to become disc jockeys. Um, we also had to market. We had to get the business. We had to go out there and get the I was a, it was a startup, you know, back in 99, and we had to get the business. We, had, we, we landed the accounts for UPS for Boeing. We did events for Southwest Airlines. I mean, insert the name of the big company, American Airlines. I mean, uh, Quick Trip. We've done all their holiday parties. UPS, like I mentioned. Uh, Hewlett Packard. We've done all of their entertainment. We've done those, those parties. So one, we had to learn marketing, we had to learn sales, had to learn branding, had to build uh, repeatable systems. And it allowed my wife and I to achieve uh, financial success. So my whole goal was to build a multi-million dollar business before I was 30 and to hire my dad someday. And at the age of 27, I did that. And so I sold the business and uh, I ended up um, getting asked by business owners to help me grow their business. So one lady called me and said, hey, my business is stuck. I am currently the only person in my business, my retail shop, who has the mental capacity to or the skill or the whatever it is to sell things. And I'm so frustrated. How did you do it? And it all starts with curiosity, doesn't it? I mean, doesn't it all start? Doesn't self improvement start with curiosity, uh, wanting to know? You know how how did they do that? How are they doing that? Right? Uh, and so uh, then I had a, a person reach out to me about their mortgage company. I had a uh, Hewlett Packard reach out to me for speaking. I had uh, uh, Maytag, O'Reilly's, uh, Valspar uh, Paint. You know the, they're the paint people. Valspar V A L S P A R Paint. Um, had, you know, just some big companies, funeral homes for whatever reason. For some reason, I'm a big deal in the funeral home community. Uh, a group called Messenger Services I recently spoke to. Uh, mortgage companies in Toronto, uh, dermatologists, dentists, uh, roofers. At this point, it feels like I'm just naming industries. But I, I've worked with almost every, every kind of industry. Retail, uh, men's hair, women's hair, personal training, uh, group fitness, uh, fitness gyms. And every time I work with a business, when they execute the proven plan... It grows, and I'm not a genius. I didn't, you know, invent this system. It's just uh, I documented the systems that were out there and made it um, executable. I think it, I think it was one thing to observe nature 
and to observe these these business laws um, in my man cave and the Thrive Studios. I have so many books and I've read them all. And when you take all those books and you can distill them into actionable um, items that people can implement and and take and, their, uh, and apply to their own businesses, that's a game changer. Because a lot of people are like, I, I don't want to read all of the books that you've read. I, I, I don't want to do that. I don't want my homework to be, go read these 17 books. I'd rather you tell me what to do. So as I was coaching other businesses, um, we grew a company called Party uh, uh, Perfect, and it's now been acquired by Party Pro. It did well. Um, then I uh, grew a wedding show that was then merged. So if you've ever been to a wedding show, I probably had my hand involved in that in some capacity. Um, the Tulsa wedding shows, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, we, we started a thing called the, the Tulsa Bridal Association, which had its own wedding show. And that wedding show would be hosted uh, because I couldn't get into the other wedding show. You know, the other wedding show was fully booked out. Uh, the one that Vicki Taylor started, you, you couldn't get in because it was booked out. So I said, well, screw that. I'm going to start my own wedding show. So I started my own wedding show. I grew it to be massive, and then we, we merged it. Um, I started Ed Epic Photography, which has gone on to be the largest uh, wedding uh, photography uh, business uh, on, on the planet, and uh, it still exists today. We've won all the awards, and I never took any photos. And so the thing is, you have to ask yourself, how are you doing it? Uh, well, Dr. Zellner, I mean, he uh, started an optometry clinic, and uh, then he goes on and he starts an auto auction. He starts a durable medical uh, equipment manufacturer. He uh, um, starts a sleep, a diagnostic sleep center. Uh, he's invested in a bank. Uh, he he bu built a, uh, basically acquired a horse ranch and started producing some of the most successful horses out of that thing. And I'm just telling you, it's not that we're geniuses. It's because we know the path. We know how to build the proven business systems. And to make it affordable for you, we decided to coach up a team of coaches that now can help you execute these business systems. So yes, I did as a fact, went to Oral Roberts University. Yes, I was kicked out of Oral Roberts University or asked to leave, I guess is the official deal, asked to leave by Oral Roberts University for writing a parody uh, called the ORU Slim Shady that the school's uh, leadership didn't find to be as funny as I did. But uh, Adam Bagwell um, and I can be heard on that song. You can still find it on YouTube today, the ORU Slim Shady. It's well documented. I did re get uh, asked to leave that college. Yes, I started a very successful DJ company called djconnection.com. Yes, I started a very successful photography company. Yes, the Elephant in the Room Men's Grooming Lounge is very successful. Yes, my uh, uh, consulting PR company, Make Your Life Epic, is arguably, many people say it's the largest uh, marketing firm in Oklahoma. And yes, I've won the award from the U.S. Chamber of Commerce as being the National Blue Ribbon Quality Award winner. Yes, I've won all the wedding awards. Yes, I've been the Entrepreneur of the Year for the city of Tulsa as well as the state of Oklahoma. Yes, I've won the Innovator uh, the Award for one of the fastest growing companies in Oklahoma, but let's not talk about me. Let's talk about you. You qualify to win those awards. You can do it. You need to say it. I have what it takes to make the money I want to make. Say it with me now. I have what it takes to make the money that I want to make. Say it with me now. I'm going to fake it until I'm going to make it. You can go ahead. This is kind of a positive affirmation show. I'm going to fake it until I make it. Now, here's the deal. We are teaching you the proven systems. So our online school is a dollar. Just go to thrive15.com. It is a dollar. It is the best dollar you've ever spent. And the last dollar you just spent buying some random stuff at a convenience store was probably the worst dollar you've ever spent because you didn't intentionally tell your money where to go. You know, a budget is telling your money where to go. Not having a budget is asking where your money went, right? And so we're asking you to be intentional about investing in yourself. And so we have built the world's largest best online business platform. Thousands of videos. So if you want to learn management, the guy who used to manage Walt Disney World Resorts is the one teaching. I, I'm sure that he couldn't possibly understand how tough it is to manage your business, right? No, it's, it, no, he knows the moves that you need to know, okay? We teach you search engine, marketing. If you want to learn public relations, the PR consultant of choice for Michael Jackson's estate. You know the singer? Hee <laughs> hee! Ow! That guy, Prince, right? His PR guy, Charlton Heston, Nike, Pizza Hut. That is the PR guy, Michael Levine, who's going to be teaching you PR. Now, when we come back, we're going to talk about what does a coaching relationship look like? What does a relationship with your business coach 
look like? Many people have never had a business coach. They've never seen a healthy, um, positive relationship with a business coach or a business coach at all. So we come back, I will show you the path to success for your business. I'll show you. I'm Jared Pawelka. I'm originally from Denver, but I live right here in Tulsa. So I have some friends that uh, are involved in Thrive. They referred me to it uh, just about two years ago. I'm involved in an investment banking business. We provide uh, financial consulting around M&A, mergers and acquisitions, capital sourcing, and we also provide uh, accounting and uh, strategic finance uh, consulting to business owners. Definitely just how important it is to drive early on in your, your business development sales and systematizing your strategy, um, sales and, and workflows. It, it, it almost couldn't get any simpler. It's uh, no fluff. That's the first thing that comes to mind. No fluff. You're going to hit the ground running with practical business tips that, that cover the gamut. But we only really talk about what's relevant. Uh, there's a whole world of things that can confuse you, but we just, we just really focus on nuts and bolts. It's easy to get here. It's, uh, you certainly pick up immediately on what's going on. You know, sometimes you kind of have to warm up to it. That, that's not going on here. You hit the ground running, and actually, if uh, you're not paying attention, you might get left behind. Clay is, uh, he's funny, but he's brutal. I don't know if you can have that in the same person, but he is. He's, uh, either, the humor is used to illustrate a point. So I describe, describe Clay as, again, no fluff, someone who's direct and to the point, doesn't normally waste a lot of words to get to uh, practical tips and ways to even customize it for your business. There's an opportunity to interact with him, which that's probably why you come here. So you're going to interact with fellow conference goers, thrivers, uh, and Clay and part of his staff. So uh, there's breaks. You're going to interact at you know deeper level in between, but you can raise your hand and ask questions on an interactive basis. It's not going to be a crowd of 5,000. So if you've never attended a Thrive Time workshop, you're missing a, a, a chance to really get down to brass tacks in a short time period. You know, you're going to spend two days, whereas it might be otherwise wasted at a lot of other conferences. You're going to come away, probably save yourself five years of business school. It's not a stretch to say save yourself maybe five years of business school in two days. So, um, you know, there's not a product to sell. There's value that you receive immediately. And I think there's ample opportunity for you to follow up but you're gonna sell yourself into different things. If you've enjoyed your time here, you'll be looking for more interaction from Thrive15.com, from the books that's, that Clay and his uh, mentors and people that he works with, they, they've all collaborated to create incredible products that you might have interest in afterwards. But in the conference itself, there's no upsell. You owe it to yourself. If there's such a thing as cheating yourself by not doing something, this is it. If you don't come and spend the, the investment in yourself and in your business, you're, uh, you're cheating yourself. That's, that's what I would say to people. That's what you're missing out on. You don't know what you're missing out on. I'm telling you, I might even pay for your, it might be crazy to say, but I might even pay for your, your uh, time here. It's that, wor it's that worthwhile. Glad to refer anybody to it. I made a mixtape in my dorm room. I can't believe this. It doesn't seem true. I won't stop though till everybody knows. Welcome back to the Thrive Time Show. Thrive from the bottom, now we here. Started from the bottom, now we here. Yes. Started from the bottom, now we here. Yes, we did. Welcome Started back to the, the Thrive bottom, Time Show. Here. This is the show for anybody out there who's ever started from the bottom and now they want to get here. Here being success. Uh, anybody who's ever uh, decided they want to become successful, maybe you've attended a motivational seminar, maybe you've read a book, maybe you had an epiphany, maybe you watched an inspirational movie, you know, and you have all these motivational feelings and ambitions and you want to achieve success, but you're struggling to gain traction and to introduce your product or service to the marketplace. If that is you, uh, you are not alone. In fact, you are um, somebody who's right at the, at the beginning of your journey, if that's you. And so today we're talking exclusively about business coaching and the value of having great business coaches. And uh, it's to kind of introduce you to the playing field, if you're not aware of the programs out there that are good, and I say good, I mean they're well-reviewed. Uh, I know people who've used the programs, people have spoken highly of the programs. Uh, the E-Myth program by Michael Gerber is, is program number one. Program number two is Traction 
by Gino Wickman. Program number three is the E Myth, or sorry, the uh, the Maui Mastermind program, which is uh, um, started from the guys who launched the Priceline, uh, you know, website, and they also created this thing called the Maui Mastermind. And uh, it's a great, great program. And so the fourth program is the one we've built for you here at Thrive15.com, where our one-on-one coaching program is is designed to be one-fourth or one-fifth of the cost of any of the other competitors, but it's designed to give you five to six times more value. So specifically, when we, we have a Thrive15.com business coach help you, that also includes the complete back-end support team. So we have an entire team of business coaching ninjas, kind of business uh, uh, p- people who know their their craft who are supporting you. So as an example, your point of contact will be your coach, but then um, you're going to have a graphic designer, a photographer, a videographer, a web developer, a coder, an online ad manager, a search engine optimization content writer, many, many other people, this whole team of people, dozens of people supporting you and your business. So you don't have to go out there and and hire these people full-time. So we always tell people, uh, for less money than you would spend on hiring a full-time barista, you're able to have the complete skill set needed to grow your business in a team of business-building ninjas. But the question gets asked a lot is, you know, what does a business coaching relationship look like? Well, a business coaching relationship is a form of development in which a person called a coach supports a learner, in this case you, or a client in achieving a specific personal or professional goal. So the coach is um, is hired to help you achieve your goal. So the, the main thing you want to do before you hire a coach is you want to know what your goals are. But think about this for a second. Uh, Jack Welch, he was the most successful CEO of his time, uh, though many of you are listening saying that, well, he's actually not the most. And by what measure, wh- how do you determine he's actually the best? I mean, that seems like hyperbole. Okay, well, let's just give you an example. He took over GE. He wasn't the founder of GE. That was Thomas Edison. He took over GE, and at the time, the company was consistently drifting, like they were barely keeping up with the inflation rate. So every year, you know, your money's worth less money because the government prints money and spends money it doesn't have, thus devaluing our currency. Uh, We have a thing called a fiat currency. Uh, I don't want to send you down that rabbit trail, but fiat meaning uh, it's basically currency by decree. We don't have a gold standard anymore. Uh, Our our money's not backed by metallic and uh, by precious metals anymore like it used to be, thanks to uh, Richard Nixon. So the thing is, we now have a a fiat currency, and so the the, the inflation rate's grown by 2 or 3%. So if you own a business, I mean, uh, let's just say that you go to the grocery store tomorrow, uh, the cost of yogurt is higher this year than it was, you know, four years ago, right? So back in 1999, when I went to college at Oral Roberts University, I'm dating myself, but I went to college at Oral Roberts University, and the cost of yogurts were four yogurts, four yogurts for a dollar. It was four yogurts for a dollar. You could buy four candy bars for a dollar. Now the same candy bars, and I, and I feel like they're getting smaller. Maybe that's just my feeling, but... The candy bars now, like for Reese's uh, peanut butter cup, what that thing is like, what, 60 cents, 70 cents? I think someone, if we go to Quick Trip, it's like 79 cents, maybe? 69 cents? If you work at Quick Trip and I'm getting that wrong, please feel free to email me info at thrive15.com. But I believe it's like, you know, 69 to 79 cents, and it used to be a quarter. Now, that was only, what, 18 years ago? That's incredible. So the money loses value so quickly. And so when Jack Welch took over GE as the uh, CEO, uh, he, he, he would kind of be like the guy who would take the role of the business coach. He came on there and said, listen, we have a lot of different businesses. We have hundreds and thousands of different products, and we've got to make these things profitable. And he did a lot of systemic uh, changes. He had his rules uh, for this thing called differentiation, where he said, if we can't be number one or two in the world with that product, let's get rid of it. Um, he also had differentiation with employees. He said he demanded that all of his managers make a list of their A players, which are people who get there early and stay late, and they get every they get they get they get their job done, and they bring what he calls the four E's to work. So an A player would be somebody who brings energy to work. One, two, they can energize other people. Three, they can execute. Like they just get stuff done. We've all worked with people that can't get stuff done. He says the the four E's matter: energy energize, right? Execute. And the fourth is they have the ability to what? They have edge to make the tough decision, even when it could irritate other people. 
irritate other people. Yeah, that's what management is. Good management consists of irritating somebody before noon every day. If you're an effective manager, let me tell you what, you're going to irritate somebody before noon every day. If you do not irritate somebody before noon every day because you hold them accountable, then you, my friend, are not a good manager. And so what Jack Welch did is he took over as the CEO of GE and he grew the company by 4,000% during his tenure. 4,000%. So how when I say he's arguably the top CEO of all time, the guy grew the company by 4,000%. So what does a business coaching relationship do? What what will happen if you hired a guy like a Jack Welch to come help your business? Well, one, it starts with a free session with a coach who will do an in-depth, comprehensive 13-point analysis on your business. And I don't care whether you hire a coach or not. Having that analysis is worth its... uh, it's absolutely a game-changing exercise. I mean, when you're standing in front of somebody or you're on the phone with somebody and you're rating your website on a scale of 1 to 10, from 10 being the highest and 1 being the worst, unless you're mentally absent, you start to go, wow, I, uh, I just discovered that I have some areas for improvement right there. And then we ask you on a scale of 1 to 10 to rate your areas of your, your branding, your search engine optimization, your online ads, your offline ads, your uh, retention rate, your ability to keep the employees you want. I don't care about your total retention rate. If you can't keep morons motivated, who cares? But if you can't keep the people you want to keep, that's something we need to think about. We need to talk about your overall profitability. You need to analyze your profitability. Are you operating at a 30% profit margin or more? Is your business able to operate without you? There's so many things the business coach will ask you about. And they're going to ask you, you know, how much of the business is dependent upon you to bring it in and to deliver it. When they, when they do the assessment, when they finish going through this, this hour-long assessment, you are going to be like uh, uh, somebody who just received, uh, you know, Dr. Z is an optometrist, and I can only uh, relate it to this because it just happened here fairly recently. I go in and I get my prescription, you know, and my eyes, because I'm 36, have gotten worse. What? That's not, pretty soon I'm going to be looking through like a uh, you know, four inch thick glasses. I'm like Harry Carey soon here. Just I, I, my glasses are getting thicker and thicker all the time so I can see. Well, I go in there and I get my new my new uh, prescription. I get my new glasses on and I can see, baby. I can see. I mean, do you know what it feels like to be able to see consistently? Awesome. And that's how it's going to feel after you have an in-depth uh, interaction with your coach. When you do an assessment with a coach, they're, they're gonna, you're going to find out that where you are versus where you need to be uh, is is within your reach, within your grasp. You can get from where you are to where you want to be. You can turn your dreams into reality. And uh, if you're around the office enough or you do enough conference calls, you're, you'll quickly discover that all of the businesses that I have are very, very successful. And it's not because I'm a genius because, this just in, I'm not a genius. What? I turned in every day to the Thrive Time Show because I thought Clay was a genius. I thought this guy had a series of unbelievable skill sets. I thought he had a mastery of the English English language. I thought he had an unbelievable narrative. I thought his voices sometimes were hilarious. That's why I tune in. I wanted to hear from a genius. No, I'm not a genius, but I get stuff done. I know how to get things done. I know how to achieve results. I know how to uh, grow your business. And so with our coaching program, Dr. Z and I have mentored the coaches, taught them our systems, our 13-point systems that are now discoverable in our Boom book. And I'm telling you what, the life-changing results that business owners are receiving is awesome, is awesome. Now, the thing with your coach, though, is your coach knows the way and has helped companies go the way. So they, uh, uh, uh-oh, here we go. They aren't going to tolerate mediocrity. Like you might have been a mediocrity before, you know, Uh, as a DJ, as an example, when I built DJ Connection, I remember uh, receiving some award and they said, you know, you're doing, you're you're the most successful uh, vendor in the wedding industry, you know, in, in Oklahoma in the wedding industry. Well, there's a lot of great people in the wedding industry in Tulsa, but being the top of the wedding industry is kind of like climbing to the top of a, of a small hill and declaring yourself king of the mountain, and then discovering that somebody has climbed to the top of Mount Everest, and he is actually the king of the mountain. I mean, so if you're the king of your office or the king of your industry, maybe your industry is not that great. Maybe it is. I don't know. But Jim Rohn, the best-selling author, uh, the the game-changing speaker, 
uh, sales consultant. He passed away here fairly recently, but he says this. He says, you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. Well, let me tell you what. This week, I had an unbelievable week. Uh, within the past seven days, I was able to uh, hop on a phone call with Jim Stovall, the legend, the guy who's the, he's a, went blind and then gained a vision for his life and has written numerous best-selling books. He's the founder of a, of, a, of a television network for people that can't see. In his movies, he's featured Steve Forbes. I mean, he is like the who's who. I get nervous every time I talk to the guy. I'm on the phone and I sound like I'm like my, my voice is quivering. He's unbelievable. He's a great mentor, a great uh, Oklahoma asset. He made a very generous donation to Oral Roberts University, and they named one of their buildings after him. He's just a great guy, a great source of wisdom. Well, then I also talked to Clifton Talbert. Well, Clifton Talbert is the guy who helped introduce the Stairmaster. His life was made into a, a, a major motion picture. You know, Felicia Rashad, who played uh, Bill Cosby's wife in The Cosby Show, she's in the movie. Um, I mean, just big-time actors are in that movie. Siskel and Ebert, back in the day, gave it two thumbs up. And then inside the man cave, I had uh, Carlton Pearson, Brother Carlton Pearson. You know, the guy who used to be the head of Higher Dimensions Church, the guy who used to be the head of the World Action Singers, the right-hand man of, man of Oral Roberts. He's in the man cave, and we're recording a, a, uh, a transcript for his new upcoming book called Any Given Sunday about the Pearson principles to powerful presentations. It's unbelievable. All these people. And then, I mean, that's just one week. And I'm telling you what, the people that I'm around today are, are, are of a much higher caliber than they used to be. And what happens is people who are of a higher caliber, they're going to hold you to a higher standard. And that's why when Jim Rohn says the average of the, you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with, that might not work out so well for you if you're surrounded by idiots or if you're the smartest person in every room. I love to be the idiot in every room because when I'm the idiot in every room, it lets me know I, I, I've done well in business that I'm in the right place that I need to be. And so being around a coach will provide you an ongoing source of wisdom. When we come back, we're going to talk about how a coach can help you discover your biggest limiting factors. Stay tuned right here on the Thrive Time Show. I've been, I've been losing sleep, dreaming about the things that we could be. But baby, I've been, I've been praying hard. Said no more counting dollars, we'll be counting stars. Hi, I'm Jeff Finn. I'm from Wichita, Kansas with Augustino Brewing Company. So my business partner told me all about Thrive. At first I thought he was kidding, but being here, it's real deal. Being here, I'm learning that systems is a number one thing that you've got to have. Without the systems, you can't be successful. There's a lot of energy that goes on around here, and it's, it's something that you feel all the way through, even during breaks. This place is pretty relaxed. People here, they, they greet you every morning. They're welcoming you into the facility, and uh, it, it's got a vibe that's really just relaxed. Uh, it feels really nice to be in this building. Clay's, he's definitely got a lot of energy. It's something where you know he's telling you something, you can feel his passion. It's something you're, you're taking away a lot of information, and he's condensing this down, but boy, it's something that's down to earth, and, and you're just walking away knowing that you've got the information you need to be successful. So far, the, the workshops have been delivered in such a way that you know the audience is asked to contribute. It might be something of reading from the book, you know, one of the notable quotables, or asking the questions. He's always prompting for questions. People who haven't ever been to a Thrive Time conference, they're missing a lot of information that could help them take their businesses to the next level. So with Thrive Time, there's no upsell. Another thing that you get with this conference compared to others, there's a desk. Thrive Time, I think, is going to be a, a big benefit to me and my organization. I'm going to be able to take this information back and apply things immediately. Don't you give up. Welcome back to the Thrive Time Show on your radio. For many of you who are just finding the show for the first time, this is business school without the BS. It's, it's a business school where we don't really get into that whole BS zone. We don't get into um, 
I don't know, your syllabus. We don't get into humanities. We don't get into the way that you feel about how I feel about how we feel. Uh, we don't get into the Tigris, the Euphrates, the Mesopotamia River Valley. Um, we really don't talk a lot about the periodic table. But what we talk about is how to grow successful companies. And what we were, what we were, what we were just talking about was how a business coach can help you prioritize the action steps you need to take to find and solve the core problems that are creating your ongoing frustrations. And uh, so Gino Wickman, one of the best business coaches in the history of the planet, uh, unbelievable uh, business coach, his program called Traction, and my opinion, my humble opinion, as America's most humble man and America's number one business coach, is that his program is very, very good and dramatically more expensive than ours. But he says this. He says, what gets measured gets done. Well, okay. Well, what else does a business coach show you? Well, the business coach is showing you how to measure the core metrics that are going to move the needle. Uh, there's things that didn't matter that relate to your business and things that don't matter. So I'll give you an example. Uh, I used to own a company called Epic Photography. And the people on the team, for whatever the reason was, they would constantly want to talk about being more relevant on social media. Well, I'm going to walk you through what I know. And I don't think people know what I know, but let's assume that they do, okay? The average American, the average American, I want you to Google this, okay? The average American, let's, just, let's do it. Everybody get out your smartphone, okay? Average American screen time per week. Somebody somebody, go ahead and Google that. Okay, here we go. CNN says the average American is devoting more than 10 hours per day on their devices. However, they are looking for, work with me, work with me, they are, they are looking to spend 50 minutes on social media as a diversion. Ah, as a diversion? Yes, as a diversion. You mean, what does it diversion mean? Okay, we might have a, a, a deeper show than I wanted to go to, uh, into today. But what happens is all of us are very busy. We like getting things done. Uh, we, we love uh, achieving success, but we need some time to relax. You know, some guys go grab a beer and watch football. Uh, some guys go whitewater rafting. Some ladies uh, go whitewater rafting. They go for a run. They go shopping. They go write a book. I don't know, but the thing is we all have a diversion. We go work out, but... A, a diversion is an activity that diverts your mind from the tedious or serious concerns, a recreation or a pastime. For you, many of you, this show is kind of a recreation or a pastime because occasionally I might just lose my mind and uh, uh, have a lot of fun on the show. And so for you, this is kind of a diversion, right? Um, but then there's this area called cathartic, where a cathar if you, if, uh, the word cathartic means providing psychological relief through the open expression of strong emotions causing catharsis, thus causing Facebook. And so my teammates would constantly want to have me invest time and money into Facebook marketing. And this is how the meeting would go. Hey, I just want to know what are we doing to make our videos go viral on Facebook? You know, because there's another company in Tulsa who's there making Facebook videos that are viral. Well, meanwhile, we're out earning these people 25 to 1. So I don't give a crap about the competition and what they're doing. I care about making copious amounts of cash so that I can enjoy my time freedom and financial freedom. So what you do right now, Thrivers, I want you to get out a sheet of paper and I want you to write down your F6 goals. Now, if you've already done this before, dust that baby off and make sure you're headed in the right direction. But your F6 goals are the following. F number one is faith. What do you want to do with your faith this year? And how much time do you want to spend per week on your faith? Two, family. Uh, today, I'm going to be planning a copious, I love the word copious, a large amount, a large sum of trees with my kids uh, in a Camp Clark and Chicken Palace where we live. Where We're planting more and more trees. We're continuing to erect the wall, and we're not getting Mexico to pay for it, so calm down. It's not a political statement, but we are building a massive wall to keep people out that we don't invite. Just, just a thought. But anyway, so we're, we're building this wall. We're planting trees. I enjoy that family time. I took my son out today to go buy the trees. I'm taking my son to go pick out a pair of shoes, all right? And uh, I'm honored. He wants to be just like dad, so he wants the shell-toed Adidas baby. So the thing is, that that is something I prioritize. Family, right? So faith, family. But how much time? When specifically will you spend time with your family? Then there are this thing called fitness, this area called fitness. Well, fitness 
is, uh, you know, you got to work out, and when are you going to do it? I know for me, it's just like, oh, man, get on that machine. I could probably do something else with my time. But the thing is, you've got to block out time for the items that get done. What gets scheduled gets done, and your business coach will help you. That's what business coaching is all about, is helping you schedule time for what matters and achieve the results that you want. So fitness, right? And then we have, you got faith, you got family, you got fitness, and now we have what? Friendships. Who should you be spending time with and who should you stop spending time with, right? I mean, because we read the notable quotable earlier, but Jim Rohn, best-selling author, multimillionaire, he says, you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. Who are you hanging out with? I know a lot of thrivers that come out to our workshops just to hang out with successful entrepreneurs and to uh, uh, be surrounded by them because they realize that mediocrity is accepted by mediocre people. And nobody's mediocre by birth. I'm talking about the choices that they make. So faith, family, finance, right? Friendship. Then there's fitness and there's fun. You got to schedule time for faith, family, finances, fitness, friendships, and fun. I'm sorry I'm giving you to, giving them to you in a different order, so it's hard to write them down. Let me try one more time. Faith, family, friendship. Okay. Friendship, we got that. Friendship, we got that written down. Okay, friendship, right? And then we have what? What's the next one? Friendship and finances and fitness and fun. Not necessarily in that priority, but you can decide your priority. But your coach will help make sure that your priorities are match your action steps. Otherwise, you're going to have dissonance, which is which is where you're stating a goal, but at no point are you moving towards that goal. All right? So you, you, you've stated a goal, but you're not moving towards that goal. And then your business coach will help you to identify your biggest limiting factors so you can focus on what matters and what doesn't. And for me, in those meetings with our photography team, I don't give a crap about Facebook. I don't care how many likes we have. Do you know how many people like us on Twitter and Facebook at Thrive15? We have thousands of people who like us on Facebook and Twitter. Who cares? I care about the people that we help, right? That's the number I track. I don't care about the number of likes it's ridiculous. I mean, people like things they don't even like. They like it because they should like it. They like it because their friend told them they should like it. They like it because the salesperson said, please like my Facebook. Is there any way that you could like our Facebook? That would be really beneficial. I mean, but I care about the people that we help, right? Because that's the metric that I track. Now, the next move a business coach will help you do, uh, help you uh, execute, is they're going to work with you to set three goals by creating a vision for what you want your life to be and what, you're, what, what you want your business to look like in the ideal scenario. And so when we come back, we're going to get into the details of, of, of mapping out what you, what, you want, what you want your life to be like. If you're not intentional, your life will just become um, the result of what people tell you to do. You're going to end up with a ton of student debt. You're going to have a big mortgage. You're going to have two kids you're going to drive a Prius. You're going to do what society wants you to do. But I believe that you already know what you want to do. When we come back, I'm going to teach you specifically how to turn your life into what you want it to be. Stay tuned. Drive Time Show. My name is Keith Schultz. I'm with uh, Witness Security. I'm from here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. I first heard about the Thrive Time uh, workshops you know, through Clay Clark. Uh, he's been working with uh, my business now for fairly close to three months. Uh, it's been a phenomenal experience of him being able to teach us his methods and processes just on a one-to-one -one basis. And then he uh, talked about the workshops on his radio program, so therefore we decided to come. A few things that we've learned is uh, just the simple basics of, you know, how to do sales appointments and how to convey your thoughts to our future clients and be able to help them decide what they need as far as their security needs. And also uh, just the basics of the internet and how to function that and make that work for you in a business. Also as far as not only the internet but just a general roundabout business uh, principles that you need to convey to everybody so that people will call. The overall Thrive Time experience that I've experienced here, not only is it just exciting, just the way that's mixed with uh, just funny stories, 
funny real stories to be able to help people understand that you know building a business is hard work and not only is it hard work but it is rewarding if you follow through with the same principles and methods that he uh, puts forth if you choose not to do so then you probably choose to fail his teaching style is amazing out of the fact that uh, he's able to tell stories that not only are they real uh, but they're funny but yet at the same time uh, teach them with a principle that we can apply to each and every day-to-day -day, uh, practice in whatever business it is. So therefore, if you take these principles that he applies, you know, through the stories that he, he conveys and everything, it's virtually a guarantee that they'll work. What are they missing if they never attend? They miss the opportunity to be able to go out on their own. They miss the opportunity to be able to uh, do things for their families and be able to uh, have the time that they need for the things that they want to do. I've attended a few workshops in the time or conferences in the, in the past, but as a rule, they do have something that you're going to have to buy in the end. That's the thing about this. There is no buying at the end. Either you take the th principles that he provides to you with, uh, and the methods that he provides to you at no cost, for the most part, and make them work for you, then there is no upsell. It, it's, he provides you the materials for you to do the work. And if you choose not to do the work, that's between you and whoever. Uh, but he's not trying to sell you anything. He's just trying to help you. I'd recommend just about anybody, and I have recommended in the last three months, I've recommended dozens of people to at least listen to the program and try to apply some of the things they've, uh, they talk about in the, on the Thrive Time show. And if you do, I guarantee it'll work. Just gotta apply them. Don't you give up, no, no. Welcome back to the Thrive Time Show on your radio. For many of you who are just finding the show for the first time, this is business school without the BS. It's, it's a business school where we don't really get into that whole BS zone. We don't get into, um, I don't know, your syllabus. We don't get into humanities. We don't get into the way that you feel about how I feel about how we feel. Uh, we don't get into the Tigris, the Euphrates, the Mesopotamia River Valley. Um, we really don't talk a lot about the periodic table. But what we talk about is how to grow successful companies. And what we were, what we were, what we were just talking about was how a business coach can help you prioritize the action steps you need to take to find and solve the core problems that are creating your ongoing frustrations. And uh, so Gino Wickman, one of the best business coaches in the history of the planet, uh, unbelievable uh, business coach, his program called Traction, in my opinion, my humble opinion, as America's most humble man and America's number one business coach, is that his program is very, very good and dramatically more expensive than ours. But he says this. He says, what gets measured gets done. Well, okay. Well, what else does a business coach show you? Well, the business coach is showing you how to measure the core metrics that are going to move the needle. Uh, there's things that matter that relate to your business and things that don't matter. So I'll give you an example. Uh, I used to own a company called Epic Photography. And the people on the team, for whatever the reason was, they would constantly want to talk about being more relevant on social media. Well, I'm going to walk you through what I know. And I don't think people know what I know, but let's assume that they do, okay? The average American, the average American, I want you to Google this, okay? The average American, let's, just, let's do it. Everybody get out your smartphone, okay? Average American screen time per week. Somebody, somebody go ahead and Google that. Okay, here we go. CNN says the average American is devoting more than 10 hours per day on their devices. However, they are looking for, work with me, work with me. They are, they are looking to spend 50 minutes on social media as a diversion. Ah, as a diversion? Yes, as a diversion. You mean, what does a diversion mean? Okay, we might have a, a, a deeper show than I wanted to go to, uh, into today. But what happens is all of us are very busy. We like getting things done. Uh, we, we love uh, achieving success, but we need sometimes to relax. You know, some guys go grab a beer and watch football. 
Uh, some guys go whitewater rafting. Some ladies uh, go whitewater rafting. They go for a run. They go shopping. They go write a book. I don't know. But the thing is, we all have a diversion. We go work out. But a, a diversion is an activity that diverts your mind from the tedious or serious concerns, a recreation or a pastime. For you, many of you, this show is kind of a recreation or a pastime because occasionally I might just lose my mind and uh, uh, have a lot of fun on the show. And so for you, this is kind of a diversion, right? Um, but then there's this area called cathartic, where a cathar- if you, if, if the word cathartic means providing psychological relief through the open expression of strong emotions causing catharsis, thus causing Facebook. And so... My teammates would constantly want to have me invest time and money into Facebook marketing. And this is how the meeting would go. Hey, I just want to know, what are we doing to make our videos go viral on Facebook? You know, because there's another company in Tulsa who's there making Facebook videos that are viral. Well, meanwhile, we're out earning these people 25 to 1. So I don't give a crap about the competition and what they're doing, I care about making copious amounts of cash so that I can enjoy my time freedom and financial freedom. So what you do right now, Thrivers, I want you to get out a sheet of paper and I want you to write down your F6 goals. Now, if you've already done this before, dust that baby off and make sure you're headed in the right direction. But your F6 goals are the following. F number one is faith. What do you want to do with your faith this year? And how much time do you want to spend per week on your faith? Two, family. Uh, Today, I'm going to be planning a copious, I love the word copious, a large amount, a large sum of trees with my kids uh, in a Camp Clark and Chicken Palace where we live. We're we're planting more and more trees. We're continuing to erect the wall, and we're not getting Mexico to pay for it, so calm down. It's not a political statement, but we are building a massive wall to keep people out that we don't invite. Just just a thought. But anyway, so we're, we're building this wall. We're planting trees. I enjoy that family time. I took my son out today to go buy the trees. I'm taking my son to go pick out a pair of shoes, all right? And uh, I'm honored. He wants to be just like dad's. So he wants the shell-toed Adidas baby. So the thing is, that that is something I prioritize. Family, right? So faith, family. But how much time? When specifically will you spend time with your family? Then there are this thing called fitness, this area called fitness. Well, fitness is, uh, you know, you got to work out. And when are you going to do it? I know for me, it's just like, oh, man, get on that machine. I could probably do something else with my time. But the thing is, you've got to block out time for the items that get done. What gets scheduled gets done, and your business coach will help you. That's what business coaching is all about, is helping you schedule time for what matters and achieve the results that you want. So fitness, right? And then we have, you got faith, you got family, you got fitness, and now we have what? Friendships. Who should you be spending time with and who should you stop spending time with, right? I mean, because we read the notable quotable earlier, but Jim Rohn, best-selling author, multimillionaire, he says, you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. Who are you hanging out with? I know a lot of thrivers that come out to our workshops just to hang out with successful entrepreneurs and to uh, uh, be surrounded by them because they realize that mediocrity is accepted by mediocre people. And nobody's mediocre by birth. I'm talking about the choices that they make. So faith, family, finance, right? Friendship. Then there's fitness and there's fun. You got to schedule time for faith, family, finances, fitness, friendships, and fun. I'm sorry I'm giving you to, giving them to you in a different order, so it's hard to write them down. Let me try one more time. Faith, family, friendship. Okay, friendship, we got that. Friendship, we got that written down. Okay, friendship, right? And then we have what? What's the next one? Friendship and finances and fitness and fun. Not necessarily in that priority, but you can decide your priority. But your coach will help make sure that your priorities are match your action steps. Otherwise, you're going to have dissonance, which is which is where you're stating a goal, but at no point are you moving towards that goal. All right? So you, you, you've stated a goal, but you're not moving towards that goal. And then your business coach will help you to identify your biggest limiting factors so you can focus on what matters and what doesn't. And for me, in those meetings with our photography team, I don't give a crap about Facebook. I don't care how many likes we have. Do you know how many people like us on Twitter and Facebook at Thrive15? We have thousands of people who like us on Facebook and Twitter. Who cares? I care about the people that we help, right? That's the number I track. I don't care about the number of likes. 
It's ridiculous. I mean, people like things they don't even like. They like it because they should like it. They like it because their friend told them they should like it. They like it because the salesperson said, please like my Facebook. Is there any way that you could like our Facebook? That would be really beneficial. I mean, but I care about the people that we help, right? Because that's the metric that I track. Now, the next move a business coach will help you do, uh, help you uh, execute, is they're going to work with you to set three goals by creating a vision for what you want your life to be and what, you're, what, what you want your business to look like in the ideal scenario. And so when we come back, we're going to get into the details of, of, of mapping out what you, what, you want, what you want your life to be like. If you're not intentional, your life will just become um, the result of what people tell you to do. You're going to end up with a ton of student debt. You're going to have a big mortgage. You're going to have two kids you're going to drive a Prius. You're going to do what society wants you to do. But I believe that you already know what you want to do. When we come back, I'm going to teach you specifically how to turn your life into what you want it to be. Stay tuned. Drive Time Show. My name is Mel Wright, and I am from Tulsa, Oklahoma. I am a photographer for family and weddings and portrait photography. My head is so full of things, I don't even know where to start. Um, basically, I have learned that I need to stay focused and be motivated and make checklists and actually do those things. And I have learned that I need to make a really good website, get reviews for my website, uh, get on Google Maps and like have a location that people can see, have testimonials, have reviews reviews. The Thrive 15 headquarters is amazing. It's like this big open space with lots of natural light, lots of like knickknacks all around that inspire clay and lots of quotes that are just inspiring. And it's a fun, upbeat office. Clay's presentation style is really entertaining and motivational. He is so lively and really, really good at communicating to people um, all of the knowledge in his head. He has so much about business and running a business and having a successful business in his mind that he can just like really communicate with the average person. So the interaction at the speaking event with Clay is very personal. It's He's like right there, right in front of you. We're all sitting at desks and we have like a book. He gives you a book to write notes in and it's like his own book that he wrote and he is going through it with you step by step, um, letting you ask questions, answering those questions, giving examples, writing on a whiteboard. He's got videos, he's got lots of like um, visual and emotional and like sound that you can really learn everything he's telling you. So Clay's business workshop will not try to upsell you. He literally is just full of information and knowledge and just wants to share it with you and answer your questions. He's not going to try to upsell you. He really just wants you, any motivated person to be better and he just, he won't, he's not, it's not a scam. It's just a really amazing learning experience. I would recommend this workshop to anyone who is even just remotely thinking about having their own business because it takes your mindset from, well, this is going to be a lot of work and impossible and I'll never be successful at it to, I could do this. I could absolutely do this. If you have still not found what you're looking for, I recommend you do two things. One, get on over to Oklahoma Joe's where they consistently serve up the world's best baked beans. The world's I mean, the baked beans there are incredible. I, I'm a guy who, uh, I'm not super passionate about just baked beans. It's not something I wake up every morning going, oh, I love baked beans. I probably should talk about baked beans on the radio show because I love baked beans. No, but... Oklahoma Joe's decided to sponsor the Thrive Time show uh, many months ago. And when they did, I went over there and I and I had the baked beans and I realized that what I was experiencing was like a party in my mouth. It was like a it was almost like uh, uh, you know, Thomas Jefferson, like the like the founding fathers, you know, Ben Franklin, they're all in a room 
and they're signing a, a declaration of independence where I'm now no longer uh, dependent upon mediocre baked beans. I'm now independent. I now understand what it's like. I've seen the light. I've gone to another place. I have seen the world's best baked beans, and they are clearly found every day at Oklahoma Joe's. They're incredible. But move number two is you if you want if you want to get if you want to find what you've been looking for if you want to achieve success you must write out your F6 goals and if you're just tuning in that's faith family friendships fitness finances and fun write out those goals and then let's go and get them all right let's go get them and so I'm going to walk you through how your business coach will help you uh, during a business coaching experience a business coach is going to hold you accountable to execute your action steps and your daily performance indicators, your daily key performance indicators. So the, the, the idea here, uh, Jack Welch, again, the former CEO of GE, who I love to quote because he grew GE by 4,000% when he took over. The movies, you, you guys understand that the, the, the TV show Seinfeld, it would not be on the air. It would not have been on the air if it wasn't for Jack Welch. Jack Welch was so pragmatic that when they took over RCA and they took over their, uh, you know, the, the TV network, he realized, hey, listen, we're not growing because the shows aren't good. So he decided that he would commit to continue, continuing uh, cutting shows that did not perform well. And by him cutting, uh, by him pruning the, the, the tree, he was able to make room for... Jerry Seinfeld. Jerry Seinfeld would not have had a sitcom if it wasn't if it wouldn't have been for Jack Welch pruning away a show that wasn't very good. And so, in your business, think about areas where um, you know you're you're settling right now, right? You've got somebody who's not very great at sales doing sales. Somebody who's not very accurate at accounting doing accounting. Some, you have a website that's awful. You have print pieces that are a disaster. You have social media marketing that doesn't work. You have search engine optimization that produces no results. You have you have a, a sales process that just doesn't get it done. You have a manager that can't manage. Well, at the Thrive15.com business coaching experience that we have, we obviously have the two-day in-person interactive workshops where many people come and they discover and they, they have their epiphanies. But maybe you need one-on-one -on -one business coaching. And so Jack Welch said this notable quote. Well, he says, you've got to eat while you dream. You've got to deliver on short-range commitments while you develop a long-range strategy and vision and implement it. The success of doing both. Walking and chewing gum, if you will. Getting it done in the short range and delivering a long-range plan and executing on that. That's what a business coach is going to help you do. Now, the next thing a business coach is going to help you do is your coach is going to help you verify that you are incrementally working on your business and not just in it. And so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to switch into I am going to get a little bit uh, um, awkward with you. I am going to uh, bear my soul with you. Um, it might seem uncomfortable, uh, but if you'll, if you'll kind of let me do that, I'm going to do it. So here we go. Um, my family growing up, uh, my mom and dad are awesome people. They really, really care about me. Um, they've encouraged me. I used to stutter as a kid. I couldn't talk very well. I went on the school bus and I remember a kid made fun of me and, and I, I went to school when people made fun of me and I just struggled with speaking. And my parents believed in me and helped me to become um, a, a, a person who was confident in the way I spoke. Um, for them, it was a major, major financial sacrifice to have a, a speech pathologist work with me. It was it was it was a sacrifice, right? It was like tough. My dad worked night shifts. You know, my dad, who um, just passed away, unfortunately, as a result of uh, ALS. It's Lou Gehrig's disease. He basically lost the ability to move his body, his, his limbs, and he eventually suffocated uh, to death on nine four twenty sixteen. And um, he sacrificed to make my life the best that it could be. And I appreciate that. He worked at Quick Trip. He worked night shifts. He worked at Medtronic, a place where they make pacemakers. He worked at a calibration place. He did the best he could. But I can tell you this. If he would have, if I would have been able to coach my dad and taught him what I know now, we would have been traveling often, which my family's been able to do. 
we would been have, have been able to uh, uh, tell certain people to screw off because we don't need them in our lives because we didn't we didn't have to have some overlord that would would nag us because financially when you you know Humphrey Bogart once said that the goal of becoming wealthy is so that you can tell um, some big shot where to go but the thing is like financially we wouldn't have been. Um, in a situation where we had to do certain things. My dad would not have had to work the crazy schedule he had to. And so I feel like that many of you deserve, all of you, you personally, you listening right now, you deserve financial freedom. You do. You deserve time freedom. You do. But you're not going to have success until you know what to do. Um, it's it's I call it exceptionalism, but a guidance counselor probably told you, oh, you're exceptional. You're exception. You're an exception. You're great. You have great potential, Gary. Uh, Amanda, you have great potential. Russ, you have great potential. You know, uh, Danielle, you've got great potential. Cat, you've got good potential. But that doesn't matter. You get paid based upon what you do, not based upon what you uh, know. And so uh, um, you're probably reluctant to start a business. You're probably going, I don't know if I have what it takes. I want to do it, but I don't know if I have what it, I'm worried about what people might think. Gosh, what if I speak up in a meeting? What if I don't want to own my own business, but I just want to become the best manager I can be? But if I speak up, what if I offend somebody? Well, Steve Jobs has a notable quotable for you that I'm going to read to you. He delivered this speech while speaking to the Stanford graduates, which is hilarious to me because he did not graduate from college, yet he was asked as so many successful people are, to speak at the graduation when he did not actually graduate himself. Something should be learned there. But he says, almost everything, all external expectations, all pride, all fear of embarrassment or failure, these things just fall away in the face of death, leaving behind only what is truly important. Remembering that you're going to die is the best way that I know to avoid the trap of thinking that you have something to lose. You're already naked. There is no reason to not follow your heart. Maybe you maybe you don't like that quote. Maybe it didn't do anything for you. Well, Psalms, you know, from the Bible, eleven it's Psalms one eighteen, so one one eight twenty four. It says, This is the day that the Lord has made. Uh, let us rejoice and be glad in it. My friend, you don't know how long you're going to be on the planet. Correct? I don't know how long I'm going to be on the planet. My dad did not determine the day that he would get ALS. He did not uh, email in some doctor and say, oh, doctor, you know, on this day, that's the day when I want to have ALS. You know, none of us are, none of us know how many days we have. And when you realize that time is, in fact, your most precious resource and not money, you will begin to invest in yourself. People that don't grasp this concept struggle forever. I paid somebody when I could not afford to pay somebody. I paid someone to teach me Photoshop when I was 19 years old. I paid somebody to do my accounting when I was 25 years old. I have paid somebody just as recently as last week to plant some trees at Camp Clark in Chicken Palace. I paid someone to install a flat screen TV at thrive15.com. And once you can get over this this ridiculous mindset that you value money more than time, you can have success. And everybody needs a business coach. But that's me trying to sell you something, right? But the CEO of, of, of Google, on an interview he did with Fortune Magazine, Google Fortune Magazine, Eric Schmidt, business coach. And this is what he says, and I'm going to give you time to write this down. He says, my best advice to you is to have a coach, a business coach. He says, my best advice to you is to have a coach. And he said, I remember thinking, why would I need a coach? Am I doing something wrong? My argument was, how could I coach advise me if I'm supposed to be the best in the world at doing this? He's the CEO of Google, but he believes that having a coach was the number one game-changing event that took his business career to the next level. Perhaps the CEO of Google needs a business coach, and you don't. Until next time, three, two, one, boom!